should probably just destroy their bodies. Because it's not like they can get resurrected once they're... Yes? I feel like the soundtrack is trying to tell me something, so I'm gonna save Scum. guys and welcome back to Doom 3. In the last episode we had just found out that someone had been hacking the network in Alpha Labs from Delta Labs and now we're about to uh, keep going and see where else Dr. William... no. What was his name? Where else Dr. William Banks's uh, security clearance gets us. Alright, there is a ladder right here. So let's just uh, keep going. Ah, this is where a dude threw a barrel at us. And then he disappeared. And we can actually open this door. And that will be these two doors that we've opened with Williams's PDA. I could have swore I heard someone or something. I'm just going to ignore all that. Okay, so this is the uh, door we can also uh, open with Williams' security clearance. So let's save Scum. See what happens. Access granted. Yeah, okay. We're gonna exit administration and enter Alpha Labs 1. Alpha Lab Sector 1. Alpha Lab Sector 1 houses the elemental phase deconstructor and hydrocon systems, a revolutionary new technology that transforms raw materials native to Mars into usable resources. The primary EPD reactor feed. We can't actually read any of that. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. You know, I'm trying, Kelly. Wait, so how do I. Click to open transfer door. Wait, so I have to click this again? It won't put me back? You sure? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Find the personnel elevator that leads to... To Alpha Labs Level 2. Okay, that seems simple enough. Oh boy, Jesus. There's evil laughter and everything. God, that is creepy. Anything jumping me? No. There's still one, right? Take that! Okay, is that all of them? Are we good? I still hear breathing. I could swear that I still heard... Something breathing. Was that just my armor getting picked up or was it something else? Okay, man, it's dark. Okay, what do we got here? Got some. Is this ammo? Nope. Okay, let's unlock the door. Primary lights on. Okay. So I take it. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Next. Please follow UAC procedures. I definitely still hear something. I think. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Man, that was not nice. But at least I got some ammo out of it. Oh boy. You know, all these eerie sounds do nothing to help my nerves. But at least we're doing it. You know, there's something interesting about these series that I make with scary games. The moment I start them, I regret starting them and I'm counting the episodes until it's over. Which is, uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. And you know, yeah, maybe these slow walkers I should just 
take out with my pistol. Because, you know, they're slow walkers. Are you gonna come back to life? I don't even want to risk it. I should probably just destroy their bodies. Because it's not like they can get resurrected once they're... Yes? I feel like the soundtrack is trying to tell me something, so I'm gonna save Scum. is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxide. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Okay, so this thing tears down molecules and uh, makes other molecules. Oh, I think I can step through this window. But first, let's just uh, check out what's over here. Okay, well, yeah, not much. So let's just step through this window. Is some monster going to... Yep, yep. No! God. No! Jesus! Now please, let me explore. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Anyone else in here? Anyone else? What the heck is happening? What the heck is this? God, that was scary. And I also picked something up, which I don't know what it was. But that was a PDA. I'm pretty sure. Oh God, man, that made me start sweating. Uh, uh, oh boy. Nope. It was a good try, but I was kind of ready. Say kinda, I mean, you scared the crap out of me. Anything else in here? Okay, there was armor, which I got. And a little bit of a jump scare. Okay, we can open the repair access gate, which I assume we need to. But first, let's get back in this room, destroy this thing before it comes to life, and let's check our PDA. So. I assume this video disc we got is about the old this thing next to us, which we already learned about. Mr. Kyle Berger uh, recorded something about the EPD accident. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It was like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not 
I'm sure you can consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it's too Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. Code for the cabinet is 752. End of all. Okay, 752. Before we read his emails, let's go find the locker and input 752. 752. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now let's look at his emails. Let's snoop around. What did he have? From UAC Maintenance. Dr. Kyle Berger. The maintenance team has just finished cleaning the EPD collection chamber. All biomatter has been scrubbed from the area. Deep, deep scan also confirms a clean sector. As per your request, 14 collection cones and 5 trays have also been replaced. Please be sure to stop by maintenance as we will need your signature for the parts requisition forms. Okay. <coughs> And we got an email from Mr. William Landau about the status of the uh, electronic phase deconstructor. Dr. Berger, everything is going exceptionally well as we prepare the EPD for its next round of tests. Roy Patterson is setting up the baseline now and we should be able to start testing later this afternoon. If your schedule allows, please feel free to join us down here in the lab around 2. It should be exciting, Bill Landau. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much all we need from Mr. Kyle Berger. And now let's go press that button, because that's all we do in these games, press buttons. But first, I'm gonna say scum. And now we'll press the button. Warning, EPD laser active. Oh, oh gee, oh, what? Oh, so I take it we open this thing, and now... Are we gonna have to get through there? I'm gonna save scum for sure, cuz... Okay, let's go. Uh-oh. Okay, we got it. And someone whispered, help me, into our head. Which, uh, not good. Okay. That's two we've killed. Anyone else? I did see... Oh, it's this thing casting a shadow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's just check this corridor. Okay, no, nothing here. Also, good thing the back of our head wasn't taken by the uh, electronic phase deconstructor. That would have been bad. Oh, yes. Sorry, sir. I am trying to help. I can't exactly help the zombification. And uh, I'm sorry. Okay, we can... I don't know what this does. Backing up files. Okay. We backed up our files and the computer shut down. Can we... Nope, we can't do anything. What was that for? Okay. Whatever. Okay, let's save scum. Because why not? Get out our thing. Flashlight. And uh uh oh, uh oh. I can't believe I dodged that thing in such a narrow corridor. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Is something gonna spawn? Okay, the lights are off, and something laughed at me. I'm gonna save scum again. And now we're gonna be very careful moving... Okay, I definitely hear zombies. Okay, there's one. Uh, there's two. Anyone else? Anyone else want some of this? Yeah, okay. Got him. Anyone else? Okay, let's just check around the room. Maybe check this door first. Mm. Let's grab this stuff and then back away. Okay, that's something. So, got some ammo, some nice things. Okay, lights are coming back on. 
no more oh or maybe they're not please no more evil laughter because that makes me really nervous feels like i'm freaking oh boy what a time to reload wow i really want to check my ammo also it's really fun oh boy Oh no! Jesus! Why did they spawn behind me? That's not cool! That is quite possibly the polar opposite of cool. It's terrible. Oh! Uh, no. I think we got him. Okay. Anyone else in here? Oh boy! Okay, I think we got him. This ammo, it is. What about where you came from? There is HP, but I actually managed to not get damaged throughout this exchange. Okay, we got him. Anything over here? No, that's the door that we saw. And there's a PDA. And some health. Looks like we can do something with this computer, but let's not do it right now. Let's save scum and now check our PDA. So, Mr. Jack Smith wrote an audio log, which is the HR accident report. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. <laughs> it's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. We're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because, according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate and the bar. Man, some really gruesome accidents happening in Alpha Labs, which makes me think, why even make a Delta Labs? Okay, well, let's see what he got. He got uh, an email from Brian Jenkins about new safety protocols. Mr. Smith, in light of the recent increase of work-related accidents in the Alpha Labs, we feel it is necessary to implement a buddy system when routine maintenance is being performed on some of the heavier equipment. We feel this should cut down on some of the claims being filed in your department. Please get back to me if you have any other ideas on how to keep Alpha Labs as safe as it can be. Thank you, Brian Jenkins. From Ari Braden about the body system? Jack, please tell me you AC Corporate is kidding. How the hell is a buddy system going to do anything with accident claims except double them? Tell me how a buddy system would have prevented Joe Torso Boy Moss from having his arms and lights hacked off by the Albuquerque capacitor. Albuquerque? Maybe his buddy would have heard the thing growl and engage without power or a CRF module. Maybe his buddy's hair would have burst into flames instead and saved us the trouble of needing to run and find water to put him out. Next thing they'll do is try to fix the problem by having us fill out more MAR forms or reforecast our ODF. <coughs> okay, so this guy clearly wasn't happy with having a buddy system. Let's press this button. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Okay, we did see somewhere. We did see a place that had a lot of fire that we couldn't get through. So possibly we need to make our way back. But as we make our way back, let's save scum because we've already learned how this game is. It'll spawn anything and everything in our path and behind us. Yep, the fire's gone. You know, Mars is scary. Oh boy, oh boy. It's firing. And I'm saying it because... Oh boy! No! Oh no! No, no, 
I'm sorry, sir. Please, remain calm as I deal with the situation. I've been sent from UAC headquarters. I'm the new marine transfer and I'm here to fix everything. Okay, we can't actually, I mean, we can get down there, but I'd rather not until we know... Oh, see, I thought I saw an explosive barrel, but I got too flustered with all of them firing at me to, uh, to look at it. Is it just me, or is that... Okay, no. Uh-oh. Wow, the door. The door. God. Oh, now the door opens. Thanks. No. Okay. Next. Is there another one? Another one? God, you freak. You almost got me killed. Freaking corpse thing. What is that, like an alien alarm system? Just hang up a corpse and have it scream whenever it sees someone. <coughs> oh god. We're about to run out of bullets on this thing. That opens. Please tell me we don't have to get down there. We have to get down there. Okay, we're gonna save scum because vents. I hate vents. I hate vents. I hate vents. I hate vents. say about vents? What did I say about vents? Also, shouldn't I have a buddy with me while I'm doing this? Did you guys not hear that a buddy system was uh, enacted? Is one of you gonna scream? Okay, I'm not sure if this is where we need to go, because the vent did go somewhere else. But So let's look at this room, and uh, if we find our way out of this... Okay, this is the room where we... Hi. Okay, we got him. There's another one. Okay. Next, if there is one. I don't think there is, but you never know. Okay, I think this room might actually be where we need to be. So, I'm gonna grab this weapon, uh, this weapon ammo, but I'm gonna get back in the vent so we can see where else it led us, which was down here, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what's happening over on this side. Nothing. We can't actually get out of here. Okay, there's some ammo, but we don't... <laughs> we're maxed out on it. Okay, well, figures. So, uh, oh no, by the way. Okay. You know, for a new transfer, we're actually pretty good. I... You wouldn't think that the new transfer would be the one doing all this. You'd think we'd be the first to die. You'd be like, oh my god, what did I sign up for? And immediately get, like, killed by one of the creatures. But no, we're the hero. Yeah, I don't care. I saw one guy alive and uh, just uh, killed him. Okay, so... I might need to shoot stuff at a distance, so I'm gonna have my pistol. Oh boy. Not good. Nope. And I can't believe we got him with our little pea shooter. Give me that ammo. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. No. Not okay. 
Oh boy, oh jeez, no. Fine. I don't care. I don't want to be walking around all that explosive stuff. Happy? Happy? Boy. Let's just reload our uh, machine gun here. Which isn't that a full clip even. And let's see just what the heck was... Oh boy. I can't believe we got it. Man. Can we actually kill this guy at a distance with a shotgun? Oh boy! Dude, we Uh oh. Okay, got him. Oh gosh. These guys are not uh, friendly. But we're doing it. We are doing it. So. Okay, we're up here. Was it here that someone was throwing down barrels? No, that was in the last room. Okay, I'm gonna save Scum. Because at this point in the game, I feel like, uh... Even though I don't feel like I'm in danger, I would just like to say, ow, first of all. Even though I don't feel like I'm in danger, if I happen to die, I don't want to do the entire level over. I think is what happens, so yeah, give me this, okay, I can take this, because I'm actually at full armor uh, so if I'm at full armor, how did I lose some HP? is there any kind of enemy that just what the heck? god clips, clips I hear my heartbeat, somehow or is it someone else's heartbeat? Hello? It doesn't look like it. Oh boy! We're in a cutscene. What is this? Oh! Oh! God! No! Oh. Take that! God! I hate when that happens. I don't know what it is. Okay, we can't actually break through this. I don't know what it is when your vision go, goes all red like that, but I hate it. God, I hate it. I loathe it. Hello, sir. I'm here to take control of the situation, so please just relax. And, uh... Everything will be back to normal in no time. Oh boy! Okay, we got him. What about the other guys? He's a zombie. He is. Anything else? You know, all this machinery sounds eerily like uh, people. I hate it. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. Bad time to reload. Gosh. Oh boy. Okay, there's a ladder, and I assume we have to go up the ladder. This computer backed up its files, I'm not sure if we should be doing that, or what. Okay, let's try and go for this panel over here that we didn't try. Okay, no. Either Mr. P. Harvey or B. Lipsitz to open that panel. And we haven't found either of their PDAs, so I assume we gotta go up here. Save scum. And let's go. Yellow? Anybody alive? I'm here to help. Any help can be given. Uh, can I actually... I can't duck under here. I, uh... Oh, I see you. Oh, oh, you startled me. God! Man, I'm ever glad to see you. I thought it was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydra got blown a few circuits and was unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. Are you sure? I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. Uh... Have you not noticed everything that's been happening? If I don't get the Hydrocon operating within acceptable levels, it could blow. Oh. I need to stay here and see if I can get this thing running safely. Okay. What he said about shooting the glass, <laughs> I kinda wanna see what happens. I'm not gonna lie. No, I can sort of interact with this, but not really. If the machine blows, it'll kill us both. 
Sophia. And yet, there's a dead guy right here. He seems very calm for someone who's next to a corpse. Is this Mr. Lipsitz? Yep, it is. Bernie Lipsitz. And we got our security clearance updated, so let's check our... Let's go somewhere more silent before we check our PDA. First, let's check up here, see... I definitely hear shufflers. I definitely hear shufflers. And I think they're behind this door. But anyway, oh, we got a video disc. Okay. Okay, let's open this door so we can kill the shufflers. Yes. Yeah, see, see, I knew I heard you. Anyone else? I, uh... Yep, I think I... Oh! Whoa. Dude. Anyone else? Because I thought I heard... Okay, now that we're in the silent corner, let's uh, look at our PDA and see what we got. Okay, so Mr. Bernie Lipsitz, he got a, uh, a um, email about a Hydrocon O2 leak. A siphon hose in the oxygen displacement valve is forming a leak due to the lower temperatures required to boost production in the Hydrocon labs. If this hose were to rupture, it would cause severe instability in the Hydrocon systems and could result in a very dangerous situation. It should really be replaced. <laughs> He's pretty, pretty uh, nonchalant about the whole thing. Mr. Anibus. And John McDermott said, uh, Hey, Burn, some of the boys and I are headed over to Mars City tonight after the shift for some beers. You, as always, are welcome to come along with us, buddy. I will see you there. Oh, he had a, he had a nice friend. And uh, he had no audio logs on file. So that was pretty much Mr. Lipsitz. Oh. oh, I'm ready for you. Whoever you are, wherever you are. Ah. Okay. That's three. Don't hear anything. Okay, guys. I think that's about gonna do it for today. I uh, hope you're enjoying. You enjoyed this episode of Doom Three. If you did, be sure to drop a like. I, uh, I'm glad you're along for the series. I really don't think I could play these games unless I was doing it for a purpose, such as uploading it to YouTube. So, uh, yeah. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this, and I will catch you next time.